Yeah, are you a fan of those bags? I, I am I, because I am too. I'm Absolutely. just like that one lady. Yep. I actually reuse them. They've you know my, last my few wife Christmases. has a stack of you know from five years ago, but. We reuse them. In I do that, too. Why not? And you I know mean, what I do? I stick them in between my mattress and my box spring to keep them like nice and crisp. <laughs> nice you know? and flat. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And hide them. Well, of Storage, course. So you, you don't know? want them to know where they are because <laughs> Santa came in through the chimney, didn't he? <laughs> anyway, we don't, Mom, we don't have a chimney. <laughs> I let him through the front door. There you go. All right. All right. Well, we're all getting ready for the big holiday and a lot of people traveling this morning. Of course, fog is going to be the issue once again all over the coastal bend. It is soupy out there. And you know, when and I'm saying soupy, I'm talking, you know, almost menudo here because we got Rockport at zero visibilities. We've got Kingsville at zero. So if you're going down 77, 281, up 35, pretty much anywhere in the coastal bend, you're going to be dealing with fog and it goes all the way up to the Victoria area. Now, if you're beyond San Antonio, you should be fine. Uh, Houston so far so good, but all of the coastal bend uh, from Victoria all the way down to our region is under that fog advisory for this morning. We go to the uh, East Coast. For those of you that may be considering traveling or wondering when the family's coming in, uh, we've got uh, the rainstorm that was very heavy over Florida, but that is now moving offshore. So that rain will be ending. The other big spot for weather is the Southwest, basically from Nevada, uh, to New Mexico, uh, over to Southern California. Getting very heavy rain right now in Arizona. That would be along I-10, I-8 as well. Uh, they look like it's heavy, raining heavily in Phoenix. So if you've got flights coming through there, just consider they were gonna be dealing with some winter weather. But for us here in South Texas, actually in, in the entire state, we've got the blessing of high pressure, and that's because lower pressure is on either side. Of us, so that induces this big ridge on top of us. That's what's giving us the morning fog because of the stable air. And that's also giving us the afternoon sun. So for us, you know, it's, it's going to be hard pressed to wear a sweater outside today because it's going to be on the warm side, getting up into the mid 70s. There you see the national pattern. Now, this is very interesting. Usually this time of year we say, oh, Ohio Valley, the Midwest, they're getting buried with snow. Not this year. It's very quiet from the Midwest all the way to New York. You can say it's it's cool. It's in the cold. It's in the 40s, but that's 20 degrees above normal for them. In fact, all of the southeast or in the half of the country uh, is going to be dealing with unusually mild weather. Those are the high temperatures for today. And I wanted to remind you that in 1989, I remember it so well, on this day, Christmas Eve, it was 13 degrees here. So <laughs> it could be really different if uh, uh, other than what we've got. So the big storm off the East Coast rolls away. The Northeast continues well. Central Plains doing absolutely beautifully, very mild this year. And then, of course, the West Coast is getting that rolling uh, cyclone going round and round over there. So you can see anything on the other side of New Mexico is going to be having some stormy weather until about Sunday. Then that pulls out. We get a little front and it actually cools down by the time we get to early next week. So between now and the end of the week, we're looking for AM fog, sunny skies getting up into the mid 70s. Then Saturday night is our front. Saturday will drop us about 10 degrees. So it'll be a little bit more like December weather by the time we get to the other side. That is your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. We'll toss it back to Sonia.